The Niger Delta Progressive Women Worldwide, in collaboration with other women's group from the Niger Delta region, has held a press conference at the Nigerian Union of Journalists Secretariat in Abuja today to express their disappointment and concern over President Bola Metinebu's nomination of Ms. Daitawa Yilwada as Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Reduction. The group emphasized that this decision neglects the crucial need for gender representation and governance and male aids women and individuals with disabilities who are vital constituencies. They stress that humanitarian affairs and poverty reduction requires sensitivity, understanding and a commitment to uplifting the most vulnerable members of society. Gentlemen, it is essential to emphasize that humanitarian affairs should not be a platform for political compensation. Rather, it should be entrusted to a qualified woman proven with track records of humanitarian initiatives who has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to addressing issues of poverty and humanitarian crisis. Women, without doubt, should be at the forefront of these efforts because their leadership will not only enhance the effectiveness of our humanitarian policies, but also restore public confidence in the government's commitment to inclusivity. We urge President Tinubu to consider his administration approach to appointments in, in critical sectors. True progress can only be achieved through genuine representation and empowerment of all citizens, particularly those who have been historically marginalized. The group warned that failing to reverse this appointment may cost President Nimbo the support of women and people with disabilities, crucial to his political base in the 2027 general elections. They emphasized that humanitarian affairs should not be used for political compensation, but should be led by a qualified woman with a proven track record in humanitarian initiatives. Um, the reason of this press conference is to beg Mr. President, the Office of um, Humanitarian, please, we want a woman there. A, we, a lot of women in Abuja, especially the Niger Delta, they have not been carried along. We want a woman there. Please, we are, beg we are calling on our mommy, the First Lady, to look into that. We don't need a man in that seat. We need a woman. We stand strong as women to cry to the President that we need a woman. They advocated for genuine representation and empowerment of marginalized citizens, stressing that diverse leadership is essential for crafting policies that reflect the entire population's needs and foster trust between the government and its people.